Judgment in the Appeal, Zurich Insurance, PLC and International Energy Group. Mesothelioma is a fatal disease caused by exposure to asbestos. But when, during any period or periods of exposure it is caused, is wholly uncertain. This appeal concerns the special rules of liability and causation for claims by victims of mesothelioma developed by and since the House of Lords decision in Fairchild and Glenhaven in 2002. That case decides that a victim can hold liable all employers who negligently exposed the victim to asbestos. But the House later decided in Barker and Chorus in 2006 that each employer was only liable pro rata to the period which exposure by it bore to the total of all periods of exposure. Parliament immediately reversed Barker in the United Kingdom by the Compensation Act 2006, making each employer liable in full with rights of contribution among themselves. In the trigger litigation in 2012, the Supreme Court held that an employer's liability insurer must indemnify the employer against exposure-based liability incurred under the principle in Fairchild. The present appeal has two features. First, it is from Guernsey, where there is no equivalent of the 2006 Act, but the common law is agreed to be as in England. Second, it concerns an employer which was insured for only part of the total period for which it, it exposed a victim of mesothelioma to asbestos. The victim was Mr. Carey, who was exposed by his employer, represented by IEG, for 27 years from 1961 to 1988, when he contracted mesothelioma and died. Before his death, he recovered compensation of £250,000 plus £15,300 towards his costs from IEG. IEG also incurred defence costs of some £13,150. During the 27-year period, Mr. Carey's employer had, so far as appears, only two insurances, one covering six years from 1982 to 1988, under which Zurich is responsible, the other with excess covering two years from 1978 to 1980. On this basis, IEG was uninsured for 19 of the 27 years for which Mr. Carey was exposed. IEG has, however, claimed to recover from Zurich, which insured for only six years, all the compensation IEG has paid to Mr. Carey and all its own defence costs. Zurich says that this is wrong, that Barker continues to apply in Guernsey, and that it should only meet six twenty-sevenths of IEG's loss and defence costs. The trial judge agreed as regards the compensation, but held Zurich liable for 100% of the defence costs. The Court of Appeal ordered Zurich to pay 100% of both the compensation and the defence costs. Zurich now appeals. The issues considered are, one, whether Barker still applies in Guernsey, so that Zurich is only liable for six twenty-sevenths of the compensation paid, and whether a parallel rule applies to defence costs. Two, if Barker no longer applies, and the Guernsey position now mirrors that under the 2006 UK Act, whether an insurer in Zurich's position covering only six years must in the first instance meet the whole of an employer's liability arising following 27 years of exposure. Three, if so, whether the insurer has pro rata rights of contribution from any other insurer of that employer, such as Excess, who insured for two years here, and or from the employer itself in respect to the 19 years of exposure apparently not covered by that employer with any insurer. The Supreme Court unanimously holds that the common law rule of proportionate recovery established in Barker continues to apply in Guernsey, where there is no equivalent of the 2006 Act. The court accordingly allows Zurich's appeal in respect of compensation, but it dismisses its appeal in relation to defence costs. The judge's order is therefore restored. The compensation costs are subject to the pro rata rule in Barker, but the defence costs are different. They would have been incurred in defending the claim whatever the total period of exposure by Mr Carey's employer. They were incurred with insurer's consent in defending a claim for damages for injury or disease, quote, caused during the Zurich insurance period within the meaning of the main insuring clause, 
Under the rule in Fairchild, as applied in Trigger, mesothelioma is caused in any period in which exposure occurs which materially contributed to the risk of contracting mesothelioma. The other issues do not in these circumstances arise, but because of their general importance, the Supreme Court states its opinion on them. All members of the Court agree that had the position in Guernsey been as it is in the UK under the 2006 Act, it would be anomalous if Zurich had to answer for the full 100% loss without any defence or right of recourse, and that there must be some solution addressing this anomaly. By a majority of four to three, the Court concludes that although, following the decision in Trigger, Zurich must in the first instance answer for the full 100% of the compensation paid by IEG to Mr Carey, Zurich has equitable rights to contribution pro rata against any other insurer, such as here excess, able to contribute, as well as in relation to any period where there was no such insurer against IEG itself. The minority considers that Zurich is in contrast only liable to IG, IEG in the first instance for six twenty-sevenths of the compensation paid by IEG. The leading majority judgment is given by myself, with whom Lords Clark, Carnworth and Hodge agree. The leading minority judgment is given by Lord Sumption, with whom Lords Newberger and Reid agree. Lord Hodge and Lord Newberger also give separate judgments. My judgment also discusses the position under the Third Party Rights Against Insurers Act 1930, had IEG been insolvent, which it is not, and concludes that it is probable that Mr Carey would in such a case have been able to look to Zurich for the full 100% loss without Zurich being able to set off any rights of contribution it might have against IEG.